tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. Did you know that it was I who convinced His Imperial Highness to join you in Stone Hill? <laughs> All right. It may be that he was of a mind to do so already, but it was I who told him where you'd be. It's not often our entire merry flock returns home to roost at once. I expect I should be wishing you good luck. There's something about it. I feel like he's calling to me. Origin, he called it. But the origin of what? What is it? It's the end, is what it is. I have wronged so many. Ruined thousands of lives. I did not deserve to be saved. But save me, you and your brother did. Your uncle, too, forgave me my sins. Offered me a chance at redemption. Yours is a fine family, Ifrit. Cherish it. What you're talking about. The odor is what gives chances to its uh, depth. And that's what makes it superior to any old lizard livers. Oh, please. Have you even tried the fried mortress? Taste, smell, texture. It beats your beloved stew hands down on every count. Now that's a masterpiece. What do you mean I can't have another loaf? Oh, you've had nine already. Is this the last of the Mother Crystals, do you think? Or could there be others buried out there? There's not like a fuck-off crystal hanging over the horizon to sour your eel. Always one more job to do, isn't there, Clive? has brought back from Dalmechia. Said they were all the rage in Dalamil. Looks sort of funny if you ask me. <laughs> I'll be damned. Have you had one before? Something smells good. What are we having? Bombs! And they are good. You should try one. Eh? The bloody great hole in it. Who are the rest? <laughs> it's supposed to be hollow, silly. Haven't you ever seen Drake's Fang?
Mummy said you destroyed all the mother crystals. No, he didn't. There's still the black one up in the sky. Sid, did you know that chocobos are far more resilient to the effects of ether than most other beasts? Some say that's one of the reasons they were tamed for use as mounts and sumpters. So that an ether flood wouldn't mean instant death for their riders or drivers. Me, I reckon they built it up over generations. Too many foolish traders driving their birds into floods, and only the toughest surviving. Good morrow to you, my friend. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Did you learn everything you needed? Down. Finished, are you? So what do I owe the honor? So, will it be? First the skies, then the crystal. What next? The advent of great Grieger herself. I'm sure we'll be fine. Sid's back, isn't he? I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastport. But as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I promise to return. Or a bomb. But only if it was a big one. That or a bander curl, but not a cactuar. They're too prickly. Say what you will. Lady Karen has seen our shells happen. says your book's made quite Shirley, an impression on the Shirley, children. Shirley, you can I want to learn how to build an airship so I can themselves. fly up to the dark crystal and crack it. <laughs> Is that so? We'll need to find some more parchments then. suppose it's magic keeping the thing afloat. What else could it be? C, 
so there's a new mother. Fussing over it won't see the hens fed. One moment you think you've freed the realm from her fate. The next, a darker one rears up to replace it. What awaits us when we finally attain release? True freedom? Or something else entirely? Enterprise, just say the word. As long as the word isn't fly. She can't do that. Yet. That crystal certainly don't boot well. But just think of all the secrets it must hold. Here. If you're planning on going up there, you can bring a bit back for me, could you? My heart has wandered hither and thither in search of the perfect companion. When all along he was here, standing right beside me. These skies are taking their toll on the hideaway, Clive. I can mend a broken arm, but a broken spirit is beyond my talents. Ty's tea stopped the fits. I only hope they stay stopped. Thank you, my lord, for taking me in. Everyone here has been so kind. It reminds me of home. again what is it that you wish to learn thus ends today's lesson twin sides hundreds of leagues away I don't mean the crystal is massive my still alive I see Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin, though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map.
mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Varistian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the Curse Breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance, would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. faced him at stone here. Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. Believe me, Clive, I would fly with you to Origin, nay, to the end of the world, if I could. Alas, my fear of heights prevents me. anything special you fancy supping on before you go, I'd be glad to make it for you. As long as it's brown. Unless you've taught our chocoboos how to fly, I won't be scouting this one for you, Clive. You're on your own, but not alone. You don't know what you're talking about. The odor is what gives chances to its, uh, depth. And that's what makes it superior to any old lizard livers. Enthroned in sable sky, chaos in
from divers hands a dawn is spun in crimson cinnamons. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastport, but as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I promise to return. If this origin is a mother crystal, it must be destroyed like all the rest. We've come too far to give up now. Should I write next? Do you think it'll tell us about his adventures in Ash? Story, perhaps? I doubt when you return, would you mind teaching the children another lesson? They did so enjoy your last. Has Middadol mentioned a new project yet? Not exactly. You know I'd give anything to follow you up there to that crystal. Give me a few more years and I might even be able to take you there myself. have cleared, more and more will fall to its curse. I will do what I can, but... Take as long as you need, Clive. Just don't take too long, eh? Be careful up there. But if you happen to snag your britches on anything, be sure to bring them back to me. I'll get them patched up right away. Do you think they'll come back? Of course they will. It's just a big crystal. How hard could it be? Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. 
But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place, where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Take as much time as you need, brother. Something tells me Ultima will wait. Say your farewells, and let us be gone. Unless you've taught our chocobos how to fly, I won't be scouting this one for you, Clive. You're on your own, but not alone.
come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Do you have a moment? Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The piece she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. White is the color of faith. Faith in your friends, your family, your purpose. Unblemished, unfeigned. Just like my faith in you. Our faith. May it ever steer us true. And may it ever bring you back to me. I will always, always be here. Thank you, Jill. It's not time yet, is it? Somewhere in the back of my mind. I know. Thank you. And so for now... Be strong, Clive. 